Hello everyone, Mike Arnold here, co-founder of Fat Trading Partners on Bob Igino. So, Tesla starting on the four-hour chart today. You can see a little gap up from prior day's close, running down, filling the gap, spiking down through. We had a little support area around this 219, spiking down through there. Remember, we still have this gap left, left behind. So, the gap here would be to the full open. That's 215.97. We still have not filled that gap. So on any moves lower, still watch for that gap. So 215.97 to 216.31 on the downside. Those are the key levels. Now, as we're starting on here is we have a uh, double gain levels 232.25 and the declining rotation zone. Now, so that's the first key level of resistance that we're going to be watching for. And then we'll start watching upwards to about 236.50 to 237.50. Now let me switch over to the daily chart. You can see right here, 236 to 237.50. We don't have the first cross, so a rotation zone right here. So that's, if we do get through that rotation zone on the four hour, we'll start watching for the upper end of it and uh, the prior GAN level, the 37.5% retracement. This is really key right now. It's out of oversold condition on the four hour and the daily. So that all burned off. What I'm going to be watching for is if it rotates up, hits the rotation zone, then moves back down to see if we get a divergence here or not. So right around, you can really pay attention as 221.50 level still as very key, or about 220.50, I'm sorry. 220.50 is going to be a very key level. And then that gap fill, as I mentioned before. So rally today, a uh, little reversal candle, but much lower volume than yesterday. So this might just be working off some of the oversold condition. So we have for you today on Tesla, and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.